Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff Flanoski. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I just got back from an awesome trip to Chelsea, Michigan. I went there for an awesome event called the Down Country Enduro. It was held at the DTE Energy Trails. They were super fun. I went on Friday and helped lead a kids clinic. We worked with about a dozen kids. It was awesome watching their skills progress throughout the day. And then on Saturday, we did a pre-race enduro clinic where I helped a lot of the riders work on their fundamental skills. And then later on in the day, we checked out the trails and they were super, super fun. Towards the end of the clinic, we came up on this really cool balance line. There was the main outside line and then there was this inside super skinny line. So I make a lot of clips for Instagram. I make a lot of YouTube videos. For this video, I wanna peel back the curtain and show you what goes into making some of these clips. A lot of times we post it and it looks like we did it first try. That's not always the case. So let's dive into it. The first clip I'm gonna show you is what I posted on Instagram. So this started out on the main line. I crossed over to the inside super skinny line. And then I thought it would be cool to make a 90 degree turn and return back on that same line, but taking the outside line in the opposite direction all the way back to the end. I got pretty lucky and did this one first try. So then I decided to start on the opposite end and ride the whole thing backwards. From what I understand, that inside skinny line hasn't really been ridden backwards that much. And I came up with a line that would make me need to do it two times. It was gonna be super challenging. So let's check out some of the attempts. All right, so here's attempt number one. With this one, this is pretty much the best case scenario. When you're doing a balance line, you pretty much wanna screw it up as early as possible so you put as little effort into it as you can. So another thing about that first attempt, sometimes when we do tech lines, there's this inflection. If you did it really slow and carefully, it'd be a lot easier, but a lot of times we try to keep it moving. So that was pretty much what happened on that first one. I was just trying to make that hop and correct and make the turn as fast as possible, and it screwed me up. All right, here's attempt number two. So I start out on the fattest section of the skinny, and then I need to make that same 90 degree turn. What made this skinny part tricky is that you have to go up this little knuckle right here and then you need to zigzag between these two trees without hitting your pedals or your handlebars. That time I didn't quite get it. So on that attempt, it was pretty much those trees that did me in. There's all those tight trees on either side. That's why it's important to have good bike body separation so you can zigzag around that stuff. Uh, I paid too much attention to them and it made me lose my balance off to the side. Here's attempt number three. Back up onto that fat section. Go to make the turn. Make a few correction hops just to get everything set. Wasn't feeling right, so I kind of just gave up on that one. On that attempt, I don't even know what happened. Sometimes you just have a cloudy brain and you just screw up something that should be fairly easy. All right, attempt number four. As usual, this first section goes pretty smoothly. I make the turn, I get set up. It's, you need to do some correction hops to get your rear wheel lined up. And then right here, I just didn't pedal hard enough and that knuckle screwed me up, fell off the side. When you're riding balance lines, downhill ones, in my opinion, tend to be a little bit easier than uphill ones because they carry your momentum. On that section, you have that little bit of a knuckle. It's so subtle, but it's just enough to resist your pedal strokes. And if you're slightly off balance, it's gonna magnify it and throw you off. That's what happened on that one. That knuckle got me. This one was rough. This is where I made it pretty much the farthest and screwed it up fairly close to the end. So I come in pretty locked in, make that turn, couple correction hops, and then I give a pedal kick and I make it through this first section. Avoid both of those trees. This is kind of tricky because you need to get onto these kind of rotted stumps a tiny bit and make that 90 degree turn. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful right there so that I don't miss my rear tire. And now I feel pretty decent. Here I do a lot of correction hops just because that radius is a lot tighter than my tires are gonna turn. So I need to hop the rear wheel in order to make that. And then now I'm kind of in the final stretch. Like I said, this line wasn't really ridden in this opposite direction very often, and I was trying to do it twice. That knuckle screwed me up again. When you're doing a tech line, that is pretty much the worst case scenario for what you don't wanna happen. Do all the work, get so close to the end and mess up. When you're doing a balance line or a tech line, the closer you can screw up to the beginning, the better. That way you just get it out of the way, take a next shot. 
All right, after coming so close that time, I was feeling pretty confident about this one, but you can already tell my balance is off right at the get-go. So make this transition, start hopping, and then it just doesn't really go very well right from the start. I knew I didn't have it. If you don't get your pedals timed on that knuckle, you just know it's not gonna work. On that attempt, I was pretty frustrated. I had made it so far the attempt before that I was almost thinking I wasn't even gonna try again. And then when I did try, I screwed it up so early on. I told myself I was gonna do it two or three more tries and that was it. So luckily the next one went a little bit better. All right, so let's take a look at my seventh attempt, which was finally the one where I actually got it. So the first thing is, I think what screwed me up the previous time when I made it pretty far was that I kind of tried to ride it as fast as possible, not meaning super fast pace, but just keep it moving. And when you're doing these balance lines or tech lines, you actually can get a little bit fatigued. So even though it doesn't look like I'm pedaling very hard, you are hopping, holding your breath, all that kind of stuff. So I tried to be a little bit more careful with energy management so that when I made it through this section and got to this part again, I just had a little bit more in a tank. Like I said, we had done seven hours of coaching by this point, 10 miles of trails. So even this little upslope was enough to screw me up that last time. So I was just a little bit more careful right here. And I made sure that when I gave that pedal stroke, it was a good one. Then I zigzagged through those trees and then you're in the final stretch. This is where you definitely don't wanna mess up. So I was pretty psyched to feel fairly locked in towards the end. And when you do lines like this, sometimes you're stoked that you did it. Sometimes you're just happy you can stop. All right, so after some hard work, I was finally able to nail that line. Hopefully that was a different line that hadn't been done at the DTE Energy Trails before. Like I said, the original line was around that outside perimeter and then they put in the inside one to make it a little bit more difficult. Riding that inside line using that knuckle as a downslope actually helps you quite a bit and it fades into the main line quite a bit easier. Riding it backwards and doing it twice was pretty challenging. So hopefully you liked the video. It was a little bit different perspective than some of my other ones. I do show some bloopers in my videos, but not all the time. But one thing's for sure, when we do this kind of stuff, we're definitely not getting it right the first time. Having that persistence and be willing to try it over and over until you can get it is one of the things that's super important when you're doing this kind of stuff. I had a bunch of fun making the video for you. Hopefully you liked it, hopefully you learned something. Until next time, get out there and be a boss.